Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to create our very first trigger. And as a heads up, there's a lot of new code, a lot of syntax. The way that this is going to work is that we're going to run the code first, and then we'll ask questions later, which is maybe not always the best approach, but I think here it will help just illustrate how things work, kind of the overall goal, because you can get lost in the woods. Uh, is that the expression? Uh, whatever, there, you'll get lost potentially uh, if you focus on these new things like this here, this here, all this stuff here that we've never seen before. Um, and I don't want you to get hung up on that, but we will address it in future videos, the next three videos after this, in fact. So in this one, we're just gonna get this running and see that it works. And what it is, it's a very simple validation that basically we have a user's table with any data, let's say uh, name and age, username and age. And all that we wanna do is prevent new users from being created if their age is less than 18. So it's pretty straightforward, um, the idea behind it. Like I said in the previous video, it typically would be better to actually do this on the client side of your application rather than waiting for the insert statement to get to, or rather than initiating a statement, sending some code to your database, having the database try and insert it, and then realizing, hey, this is age is less than 18, then sending an error back to the client side. That can take time. It's much better to just say on the client side, let's say of a, a web app, have a validation on the form that is going to check, is age less than 18 on this form? Well, then don't let the user submit the button or don't let them click the button or display an error message or something like that, rather than bothering with all this database stuff. But it's important to know that you can do this. So I'm, I'm gonna show it to you and it's a nice simple example. Uh, so a couple things, I'm in a new folder here just called triggers. I'm gonna make a new database as well. And I guess this is a good time, as good a time as any to let you know that I have seriously injured my wrist on one hand. So I'm typing one handed, uh, I'll try and edit around it. Hopefully it's not too noticeable. So we've got create database, and I'm just gonna call this one trigger demo. Oh man, okay, here we go. Then we're gonna use that. All right, now I'm gonna make a new file just while I'm here, and I'll just call this users.sql. And we're gonna make a simple table, create table, very, very simple, users. And like I said, it's only going to have, let's go with username, which will be a varchar. And then we'll also have age, which is an int. And that's it. Okay, so we can go ahead and run that just to validate that, it, or to check that it works. So we'll do source users.sql, I ran this in the same directory. Okay, we should be able to do show tables and I should be able to insert a user. Let's do insert into users and we'll do username comma age. Should all be boring review at this point. Uh, we'll go with Bobby and age is, uh, let's go with 22. 23. Okay, there we go. And as always, select star from users, just verifying that everything works. All right, pretty boring stuff. Now we're gonna go ahead and create this trigger. And what this trigger is going to do is right before a piece of data is insert inserted into users, right before a new row is created, we're going to say, hang on, hang on, there's a trigger that's just been triggered. And it's gonna check if this new user row, if the age is less than 18. And if it is, then we're going to throw an error. We're not gonna let it happen. Otherwise, proceed normally and insert the user. So the syntax, I've already typed it up here. You can just copy this if you'd like. It's gonna be easier. Well, like I said, we'll go over the, the ins and outs of it uh, as we go through this section. But to start, we'll just copy it. And what I'll do is make a new file you don't have to, you could just add it down here and just rerun this whole file. Uh, but then you would, you know, you've already created the users table. And so you would have to recreate it and drop it and then recreate it. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna make a separate file. I think it's good to keep your triggers separate. So I'm just gonna call this users trigger.sql. Okay, and then I'm just gonna paste it in and hit save. And then I'm just gonna source this file just like any other SQL file that we've run. 
it's just a little different than what we've done before. This is sort of like meta SQL, where we're not actually interacting with the database immediately. We're not creating tables. We're not inserting things. We're creating restrictions or triggers on another table. Okay, so I'm going to source it. I called it users trigger dot SQL. Oh, actually, before that, let me just verify that you can create uh, a user who is less than 18. So let's say Sally is 16. And that works just fine. They're both in there. But now when we source our users underscore trigger dot SQL, we get this silly error, which is my fault. Um, and rather than edit editing around this, I'm actually going to leave it. It's somewhat educational. I have a table called people that it's expecting. Before insert on people, while well, there is no people table in this database, it is a user's table. So let's recreate that. Okay, so now I do that, and it, we get this message that, like we get every other time something works, query okay. Now let's see what happens. So let's start off with something we know works, like let's do Sue, who is 54. That should work, and it does work. But now let's do, uh, man, this is the hardest part. Let's go with Yang, who is 14, less than 18. And we get our message, error. So we'll talk about this 1644, 45,000, all that fun stuff. Must be an adult. And it's not just an error. If we actually go select all our users, Yang doesn't get inserted. So it's not just like a, an error that gets thrown out just as a FYI but it also prevents things from, from actually being inserted. So that's the basics. We've got it working. In the next video, I'm going to break down some of the new pieces of code. In particular, what the heck this is here and here and here. Also, uh, what this new thing is, new.age. And most importantly, what is signal, SQL state, 45,000, message text, all this stuff.